Are you closing doubles on this episode of Title Tuesdays? Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today we are talking about double closings. We often get asked at investor meetings, do we handle double closings? There are so many title companies and real estate attorneys here in the state that are afraid of double closings. They always think double closings are illegal. What is a double closing and how do we handle it? We're going to talk about on today's episode. So first I want to give you a brief overview of what is a double closing. Very simple, two closings. Sometimes you can even have a triple and it's three closings. And the art of the closing as I talk about in several of the other of our videos is how do you handle the closing? You need to make sure they close independently of each other. So in other words, we're not using the end buyer's money to fund the first closing. We are making sure that these deals should there be a title claim, are handled independently of each other. So closing A will take place, and then closing B will take place. So what are some of the questions we get asked? Well, the first one is, how do you record the deeds? So the easiest answer is we use e-recording. So the good part of this closing is if we're handling both closings here at Independence Title, it makes it a lot easier. We'll record the first deed, and then as soon as that deed is recorded, which is typically the same day or the next day, we'll then follow up with the second deed. Another question we get asked is, do I have to put money up? And the answer to that is yes. As I said at the beginning of the video, all deals must be closed independent of each other, which means closing A must close cash. I know what you're thinking there, investor. I don't have the money to close, and I understand you. You do not need credit. You do not need income in order to close we are able to arrange what's called transactional funding or flash funding. This is where an investor that works with the title company will be able to fund your transaction and give you the money you need to close. As an unsecured loan, you do not sign a mortgage or note, and then on the second closing, they get paid back as an unsecured payoff. We issue title insurance to closing A, and we issue title insurance to closing B. So many times a lot of the new investors are getting involved in wholesaling. This is a great way for you to get into the business because you put a small deposit up, the title insurance will cover you, and you make sure that you get a transactional funder to fund your closing. Then on the second closing, you now become the seller, and now you're going to get all of your money back, your deposit, your profit, and the money that was used to transactional fund will be paid off on the second closing. So is it illegal? Absolutely not. We would never do anything to put our clients in jeopardy or put our license in jeopardy. It just has to be handled with a certain level of care. You have to be able to navigate the closings to make sure closing A is separate from closing B. We talk to closing A about closing A and we talk to closing B about closing B. Where does the caveat come into where we are not able to do a double closing? That's when we're dealing with some bank owned properties or short sales that have a deed restriction. That's where a lot of times you hear it's illegal because there's a deed restriction, which means you as the buyer of the property from the bank or the seller that's going through a short sale are not allowed to sell the, profit, the property for 30, 60, or 90 days. It's a very unique, we don't see that that often. It's a unique technique that the banks use to make sure they can maximize their profits because we know they do not like investors. But we see that less and less nowadays, and a lot of times what they're doing is putting in a deed restriction for a certain price, and that price usually falls within your wholesale profit. So usually you just cannot sell it for a certain percentage more, maybe 125%, where usually that does not cut into your profit. So as always, I hope you learned something new today when we're talking about double closings, simultaneous closings, transactional funding, double, triple, quadruple closings. It doesn't matter how many times you're gonna sell the property as long as you do it properly. So don't forget to subscribe below our new text code. We're putting the information on all of our videos. This is where you can join our VIP list and you can get access to all of our videos one day early right to your smartphone. We'll send you a text message 
every Monday with our new videos before they're even released to the public. So we'll put the information below. You see it flashing on the video. Thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher signing off, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.